There's definitely pace towards the game as well. Nothing in comparison to the Spenny Moore way, but uh, it's definitely flying in. Tom Elliott doing some good work there, trying to put some pressure on the Brackley team. And they've won the ball back, and good bit of play there by Johnny Byrne. A good couple of starts, touches, early starts for him. And he's found Stice, he puts a shot in, and it's a goal! What a shot from uh, Rhys Stice within the first couple of minutes of the game. It was a great bit of play pass from Johnny Byrne, but Stice still was absolutely nowhere near the goal. But he got the ball, dribbled with it, took it to, the, it must have been 30 yards out, and he just chipped it. He put some power behind it, but it went, seemed to be in the air for ages. And it, the keeper just, just went over him and into the back of the net to make it uh, Brackley nil, Darlington won. Dallas first goal against Brackley for a couple of seasons there. Toughly taken Brackley by surprise with that. Let's see what they can do with that. Ball pumped into the Darlington box, the edge of the box, but Simon Ains jumps well there with uh, the number six, Gareth Dean. Looks like they're trying to take a short one, but uh, Trotman and who is that there? Henschel were over there to, to nip it in the bud, but Curl comes over. And there's an equaliser straight away from Brackley. Poor defending from Darlington there. The corner comes over to the near post and it's a free header basically into the empty net to make it Brackley 1, Darlington 1. There's nothing the keeper could have done with that. Not sure whose man that was meant to be. An easy header for James Armisen into an empty net. Now Brackley moving the ball down the right hand side up against the Terry Braith puts the cross in and it's come to the edge of the box and Stephen Thompson's Oh, the ref's given a foul against Stephen Thompson there. I'm not sure that was a foul. That seemed an incredibly soft touch of a foul there. Middlesbrough just taking the lead at home to Birmingham. Right, here we go. Is Shane Burns going to take it? He's going to blast it. Oh, and that looked like it was in the back of the net there. Uh, away at, at York City. That's good news for <laughs> Good news for all you uh, York City wanting to watch them. <laughs> Ball pump forward now, Unlove on the centre circle, but Dom Collins putting a lot of pressure on him, but Brackley managing to move the ball, and now it's over with Armisen. Armisen's moving to the penalty box, Trotman's trying to get back, and he plays the ball across the box. Brackley not getting the ball, Darlington not getting the ball clear, and it's shoot. Ooh, dangerous bit of passage again there. Brackley able to zip the ball out to the wide and getting it into the box very, very quickly. Darlington midfield's going to have to be on its metal here. That is a nice view. Where are you, Stephen Richardson? Linda Robs, Linda Armstrong, like to reply. Oh, there's everybody there. That's good to see. Thanks for that, everybody. It looks like we're back underway again. Balls with Johnny Madison. 20 minutes in. Ball pumped forward. Looking for Ainge. Ainge gets a good flick on it. He's got to reach stage. And it's a goal! And that's a, that is what direct football, if ever there was one. Simple flick on there by uh, Stice, uh, from Ainge, and Stice put it in. Direct football in its in its primary format. So that is uh, 22 minutes. That's it. Brackley one, Darlington two. Everybody, come on! Because <laughs> Ainge has that ability to get the flick ons, and that's the first time I've seen Stice actually be able to run beyond and get onto it. Again, almost in slow motion, but beautiful bit of football. Well, not a beautiful bit of football. Very simple football. Brackley manager will be furious about that. He can't be giving goals away like that. But well played from Darlington. And we're back underway again. Three goals in the first 20 minutes. There's goals raining in in this National League North today. Oh, and a good tackle there by Johnny Byrne. Solid on Armson. But the ball's pumped in. Finds uh, the number 10 there, Murumbedzi. Had a little bit of space, took the shot straight away, over, turned over, the sh over his right shoulder. But he just snatched at it. Fortunately for Darlington, he went wide, scuffed it past the uh, Johnny Madison goal. This is definitely a game to be enjoying here. And as we've been saying before, anybody late joining us, if you're in, well, wherever you might be, take a picture and share it with us on uh, 
on Twitter if you're on or Facebook. Oh, ball's broken now for Stephen Thompson who plays it to Stice. Stice on a hat-trick. And it's a hat-trick from Reece Stice. What a goal. Uh, another direct ball up front finds Stephen Thompson. He plays it into the space for Reece Stice. And he just blasts it past the keeper. What on earth? That is a... <laughs> What a start to the game. Reese Dice, hat trick man. Well, that's got to be as fa that's got to be a contender for the fastest hat trick we've had in a long time. All for him. Unbelievable. Brackley looking shell shocked at the back here. Oh, no, as much as uh, Tommy Wright wanted to play the the beautiful game, <laughs> they've just pumped that ball up. Although it took a nice pass from Stephen R Thompson. Don't get me wrong. He's managing. He's. Uh, like a duck to water. Throwing's taken by Brackley, trying to work some space to get the ball in. It's on the Darlington left, but they've ended up ret retreating and going further and further back. And now Steich has managed to whip the ball away and he finds his mate Thompson. Thompson's now breaking over the halfway line. He's got loads of room. He's got Ainge and he's got Steich. He looks for Ainge. Ainge has got some room to shoot and he shoots. And it's another goal from Simon Ainge. What a goal. What another lovely bit of play. That's counter attacking football at its best. There was a great bit of work there in the Darlington left-back area, forcing him back, forcing him back, and then Stice got involved and nicked the ball away, played it to Thompson. Thompson ran 20, 30 yards with the ball, had options either side of Ainge and Stice, but he plays it to Ainge. Ainge actually had a chance to get his foot on the ball, and then he just put that power behind, as we've all had the taster of so far, and he's blasting it in to make it uh, Brackley 1, Darlington 4. 4-1 is, uh, is definitely not the finished article against Brackley. And here's Brackley breaking away now. He's got the good side of... Uh, got the good side... Right side of uh, Terry Garbraith there. Puts the cross in. We've got three definite centre-halves. And Jack Fox as well. He's got four pretty decent options. Ball corners get put in. Looking to the far post. Ainge wins it this time. In fact... Or oh, does he? Or does he get ahead and it goes off the... Again, 15, 20 yards, and he's found a great ball for Joe Wheatley. Joe Wheatley's moved to the edge of the box. He comes inside. Oh, not sure what that was, but he's found uh, balls found Trotman out with Tomo again. He's on the edge of the box, trying to get round Walker, but Walker's a, a giant of a man. He comes to the edge of the box, finds Steich. Steich is just holding it up. He's, nobody's taking it off him, and he comes to the. Oh, almost came to Joe Wheatley there. Dallin uh, nearly doing some more damage, but now Brackley coming forward. And it's Unlove, and he's up against Dom Collins. He's got himself all the way to the edge of the box. And Elliot has to put a good... Oh, it's Henshaw has to put in a good tackle, but it's... The referee said play on, but Brackley's still moving the ball. And it's come across, Emerson's there. Yeah. And there's a goal straight away for Unlove. Dallant not sharp enough there to the counter-attack. And after two minutes, that looks like Unlove has got his... First goal of the game. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I got that one right. Ball pump forward from Darlington to the edge of the box. Look at Ainge. And Steich has managed to win it. He's come from behind his strike partner. And he's just moved, kept the ball. And he's back early in it. And he's won a free kick. Let's see how this one goes. It's got Henshaw and Joe Wheatley behind it. Looks like Henshaw's sort of standing ready to take it, but it could go either way. So it's either left footer or right footer. Let's see how we go. Go on, whip it into the goal. There's some big lads in the box, and it is Henshaw who's going to take it. Puts it in. It, oh, oh, and that fell for Terry Galbraith. Touched his foot. As always, Kev will be with, with the highlights after the game, and the next couple of, and then the extended highlights in the next couple of days. Now Brackley coming forward. With the right back again, and he's up against Terry Galbraith. He's coming to his left foot. Oh, and that's a great save by Johnny Madison. He came inside again, as he's done quite a few times throughout this match, and he struck it hard. And it was at Madison, but he had to deal with it, and he did. And it looks like uh, Terry Galbraith just taken a, a bit of a knock in the pro. Chapman has him in his pocket, and it breaks it away. And now the ball's up to Stash, and Stash finds Thompson. It's H. Does well, plays himself on to on side and keeps the ball. And let's back to Thompson. Thompson now running at the fullback, and he's got to the edge of the penalty box. Ooh, just managed to get a tackle on it, but it finds uh, Elliot. Elliot 
finds Thompson. Thompson turns and shoots. He just gets a little bit too much on it and it goes over the over the top of the, the Brackley goal. That's the first threat on goal from the second half for Darlington. But straight away, across and Steich has it and he pumps it up. He's, ooh, he's looking for Elliot who's making the run. Dom Collins got the ball away, but it's only as far as Shane Byrne again. Sprays it out to the goal scorer, John Armson. He plays it up, it's into the penalty box. Unlove puts a cross in. Oh, and a great bit of play by Elliot there, helping his defence out. It has to be said, both, both Wheatley and Elliot have been doing a grand job of getting back and supporting their defenders. He gets a good, he's got a good distance on his kicks. Got all the way up to Ainge there. Two thirds into the pitch. Oh, and there's Ainge got the ball and he finds uh, Steich. Now it's with Tomo. Tomo's got a bit of room. He's trying to get himself into the box. He does. He's turned. He turns again. He shoots. Ooh, straight down the throat of the goalkeeper there. Goal, he had to be on his metal, but it was straight at him, but he held on to it. Darlow still offering a threat here. And so we come up to the half an hour mark. In the second half. And there's a foul there given against Shane Byrne, but Shane Byrne's playing the ball on. Brackley are definitely not going to give up on this game. They pumped it forward into the left back channel. So Terrigan Braith up against Unlove. He's trying to, he can't foul him. And Unlove puts a shot in, which the keeper had to sort of parry with his feet. Puts his body, makes his body as big as he possibly can. And it worked. Corton has come in. Oh, that was a good, str good, strong defensive header, whoever it was. And the ball's just in the melee in the six-yard box. And it's come, it's got clear. The right, Steich. Five, eight, one. Oh, he would not want to be in the changing rooms of Chester. <laughs> oh, and Simon Ainge was just trying to get clear there and has won a free kick. Phil Dees are almost resorting to Malibu. That's, that's the dangerous times. Right, here we go. So it's a free kick, but it's one of those ones that they're not really going to be putting it in the box. But Tom Wheatley's there, and he finds Nicholson. Nicholson does put it in. He finds Ainge. And it's offside anyway. But the team has been great. I think Johnny Burns has made a great debut. Dom Collins has been solid. Terry Garbraith. I mean, I think he's got to be a candidate. And there you go. The final whistle goes here at St. James's Park. Darlington have their first three points of the season with a fantastic result of Brackley 2, Darlington 4. A first half hat trick from Rhys Steich. And you, you wait till you see the goals. Two of them are, are going to be contenders for the goal of the season.